Hello, my beautiful Aquarius dragons. Welcome to your mid-August reading. So let's go ahead. Right now I have the Past Life Oracle deck. It's been very interesting pulling these into the reading. Um, setting a different tone slightly. Um, let's go ahead and see. So if you don't believe in past lives, that's fine. Um, I always say that in my lifetime, this one, that I feel like I've lived a bunch of lives. So um, it's okay. So let's see what comes out for you guys. Okay, so we have food and hunger, karmic relationships and vows. Oh, guys. I feel like you, um, maybe in the past, right, um, you found yourself getting involved in not so wonderful or healthy relationships. <sighs> Karmic relationships are usually explosively attracting. Um, so you sort of get suckered in and then all of a sudden they turn around and they can be some of the most painful ones there are. They say it's karmic because, and it's not that you deserved it. It's that it's, um, you moving yourself ahead because you actually can take the opportunity to, to learn from it or else you're going to continue to attract the same over and over and over. And so it's about, um, you healing from things that you've needed to and it could be just that you have, um, it could be that you have some sort of strange relationship with food. Okay, that might not be for everybody, but it could be that you know that you have no relationship with food. And it's funny because I see vows because you know what I see as a vow is those crazy diets. Oh, I'm vowing going to eat like this or vowing going to eat like that. It's like, no, you know, no. So... Let's see. No, uh, no, not all those, but I will take that. Let's see where this goes. It'll be interesting. Okay, this is a very unique reading, so we'll see. Okay, it could take a it could take a very big turn. I don't know. Okay, so we have no place like home, unfinished symphony, and message in a bottle. Um. You're probably, you know, definitely a homebody, but there's something that you need to actually take care of. And I'm hearing that this might be it. It's whatever this karmic relationship is with vows. It could be, excuse me, I'm so sorry. It could be that you were in a relationship, in a vowed relationship with somebody. And, um, and that, you know, it, it resulted in you, um, being hungry or being in poverty, um, so, or even just not on a physical level, but it could have left you emotionally in poverty, right? A lot of people emotionally eat. So a few variations of a theme there. Again, this is just a general reading, um, but you're going to be getting some sort of a message. Maybe this is the message. <laughs> I don't know, but let's go ahead and see. Okay, I'm not going to take all those. There's way too many there. Okay, let's see. So way back here, we have the devil. Yeah, so there is some sort of it. Oh, oh, guys. There's some sort of attachment or um, unhealthy um, addiction. Could be to food could be to whatever this karmic relationship was offering. If you've ever had a past life reading done, I have a feeling you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, as we get going, we'll figure it out. So the lovers in reverse is about you starting to discover actually different parts of you. Now, here's the thing. Is this unfinished symphony, or unfinished symphony with the lovers and karmic relationship is also about a breakup, a divorce. Um, it could even be about regrets, but it's also, I think, a realization of your values. Okay. So because it's karmic, it was not healthy. Okay. I can tell you that right now. 
Okay, so let's see, because these, there we go. These all came out like this. So we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So this is about recovering, okay? This is about moving on and starting anew. This is good. We have the Ten of um, Wands in reverse. This is about a burden being lifted. Guys, and this is about getting past the heartbreak. This is a beautiful spread. I'm going to put this like right here because this is all about awesomeness. Okay, sixes um, are typically about um, um, it, it's about balance and it's about it's about things moving on. And when these cards are in reverse, they actually take on really lovely meanings. It's about new and new and new. Okay. And the three of swords in reverse is actually one of my favorite cards because it's about it's it's about you um, recovering. It's about you understanding your role in things and sort of what had happened, and you being able to move on because of that. Because it's not just about blaming the other person; it's about understanding how it came to be. Okay, so, and it could have just been that you were too nice of a person, right? It doesn't have to be that you were horrible or whatever. So look at this, guys. Ugh, look at this. So we have, I, I feel like you're going to be having, and it's not a little victory. You're just going to be a little bit apprehensive about this. Look at this. You have the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups. So we have the Page of Cups in reverse. I feel like, um... I feel like you just need to make sure that with the Page of Cups in reverse that you don't go around bragging about it, but I don't think you will. I think that's why your victory isn't completely in the upright. Again, another six. Wow. Um, oh, and the Lovers is a six as well. You guys have so many sixes. This is amazing. And then you have the King of Cups. Once you get over this karmic thing and you understand it and you heal from it and you and you truly move on and identify where you sort of didn't stop this sooner from happening full blown, okay? Because we do all have little holes and we make exceptions where we shouldn't. And it's like, why did I do that? You're going to be moving on beautifully. And guys, like, this is amazing. I can't even tell you how amazing this is. So, like, we have the Ten of Cups, which is the most emotionally fulfilling card on the deck. We have the Three of Cups, which is about celebration and community and success and just growth. And then we have, well, the Page Cups in reverse. Like I said, don't be, don't get egotistical about it. But then we have the King of Cups. And this is about somebody who's mature, right? Somebody could be coming in who's um, non-threatening. They're very balanced and generous and just kind and uh, very cultured. And it's, um, it, it's, it's just that everything is going to be going your way. And if you're not interested in a person, that's fine. This is, the King of Cups is also about... Um, things being very fair, favorable for you um, with any sort of artistic pursuit, something that's emotional and love and happiness. Okay, guys? Wow. But you need to get over what this is. And I should note that a karmic relationship, even though it says it's the lovers, it doesn't have to be um, a love relationship. It could be, you know, figuring out a relationship with um, any relative, um, or any person actually, anybody. So it's something that's been sort of hanging on. Yeah. So with the five of cups, it's just about, you know, I think that you are disappointed in the way that things happened. You are, that's okay. Ten of wands in reverse back here. So this is about recovering. Okay. You're taking back your, your fears and you're changing it. The Page of Pentacles in reverse is about it not happening very quickly, okay? I think that you sort of, um, it's so funny, I don't use this word, but lollyganged. You sort of like puttered about with this healing, almost because you didn't want to let it go. Now, here we go. We have the Five of Pentacles in the upright. 
And this is about just um, feeling the need to shield yourself. And this is also about letting go of your fears. I think as this happens, you're going to be letting go of things. Yeah, your nine of swords in reverse, you're going to be recovering and healing. Okay, you're, you're facing the problems and you're seeing what happens and the beautifulness of facing these problems. Okay, Aquarius, what a reading. Please do like and subscribe. There is the bonuses in effect for August. Um, so please let me know that somehow you enjoyed the video because I take those and that's how I determine which six signs get a bonus for the month. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support from my channel and I will see you very shortly.